So I've got this bay window right here and I've already gone through the process of undercoating it. The first step in applying any of these metallic decorative coatings is to undercoat your surface first with an eggshell finish. So I've undercoated it, I just rolled and brushed it with eggshell, let it dry, and now I'm gonna begin applying my decorative finish. This is a coating from Boero, it's a metallic suede. In order to complete the process, I'm gonna need just a few tools. I like either a four inch or a six inch um, mini roller right here and this is what we're gonna be applying the product with and it has to be a microfiber roller so a four or six inch microfiber mini roller I'm also gonna be doing a hand brushed effect so I'm gonna be using some brushes right here to do this random brushed effect on it and then I need to pour my product into a pan so I'm just using a basic pan right here to roll out of I take frog tape right here and I use one and a half inch frog tape to put it on the outer edges so I don't get anything on the surface I do not want. I usually run two rows. So I'm gonna run two rows all the way around and then I gotta run some on the window too and then we'll begin the application process. You can use any type of you know, X-Acto knife to trim your corners but like I say, I really like this two-edged knife. It's very handy. As you'll see, I use it to open up the paint can. Also, I use it to help clean out my rollers. It's interesting, a lot of people, I've had a lot of people ask me what the curved portion is for. It's used to scrape out your rollers, um, to scrape the paint out. That way you can save the paint and your rollers will clean a lot faster. So here's the finish itself. On a project like this, on a, on a, like a powder bathroom, an average size powder bathroom, you'd only use two quarts of this product. It goes a long ways. So prior to loading up my roller, what I wanna do, I've got just a microfiber cloth and this thing is um, really wet and damp. I wanna take and just pre-wet my roller and just kinda um, work it in, get any loose fibers off of it. Now I'm just gonna start loading up my product on here. And this is the technique when it comes to applying these coatings, any of the metallic finishes, uh, we're gonna be rolling them on and we're typically doing what we call random roll. So we're gonna roll it on randomly and then we're gonna brush randomly also. And I've got two brushes, depending on what I need to work around. I've got you know tight areas and stuff, I can use a small one. But I think for the most part, I'm gonna be just using my large brush and it's just gonna be kind of this just random brushing technique to give the effect that I want. So I'm just gonna start from one corner here and I'll just work my way down and I'm just gonna just jam my roller up into, cause I want it to get all the way up into the tape. And it goes on, you want it to be really thin. You don't want it to be thick. And this is just the random roll effect. You can just do a random roll and that could be your coating right there. But this is gonna be, I wanted to do a brushed effect. So I'm gonna random roll it. And I'll just work in uh, you know, small sections. The one great thing about the suede product is, is I can stop right here, come back tomorrow, and finish where I left off and you'll never know. So now I'm just gonna just do random brushes. So I just kind of want to make sure I'm looking for every, I don't want to leave any of the stippling from the roller marks behind. I want that to all go away. I want it to be just brush strokes. And you, you got to work just short sections because it starts to dry pretty fast and your roller or your brush really won't have any effect if you let it dry. I'm kind of excited to see this this was a color i chose for this bedroom and um i think that color is absolutely amazing um so i'm kind of excited to see the finished project so it's really important that you also you know random roll you know and random brush when you're applying it you, you don't want anything to be consistent with these metallic suede coatings. Everything is done randomly so you don't see any type of pattern. This is the type of painting that's actually really fun. 
make sure you know when you're you end you don't want to end and leave brush marks or um, leave stipple marks because those will dry you want to you'll keep your edges brushed so you're kind of just taking your roller jamming the product up in there and so it's kind of like described it's kind of like this uh, sweeping like um, looping sweeping motion uh, random X's but they're kind of round I'm jamming it in here there was caulking where um, the tape was you know sealed with white caulking so I want to get it on that white caulking so you don't see that anymore and these are short I don't want long kind of like just three inch you know random strokes and I want these um, I'm doing what I call like straight strokes instead of arched or bent strokes they're straight so I'm kind of trying to do a specific look that I'm after once again you can do anything you want when it comes to these coatings and this is going to give it the whole random effect is when you stand back and look at it it's going to give the wall a lot more depth so there I got uh, the first coat on it's all ready to go now I'm going to just cover my product up right here here is the long type open glaze right here and this is something um, if you don't, if if it's drying too fast on you coagulating too quick just add this this is going to give you more working time with the product it typically is good practice to add it into the product every time you use it um, I don't usually the conditions here I don't have to add it um, it's pretty rare but if you're having issues uh, with the drying too fast use on long time open glaze usually you add a half of a quart to a gallon so you can do the math to figure out how much you need um, to add to the quart you know the coating looks pretty amazing after you know the first coat and you know it almost looks like you can just get away with it being one coat you know and um you know you could just do one coat and be done but you know as a professional i'm always going to do two coats myself and there is a difference you know in the look you know from one coat to two coats it definitely looks more polished and more finished when you do two coats so I'm always gonna um, I'm always gonna do two coats myself one thing about this suede is you know if you use it it's um, it feels absolutely amazing it, it feels like suede it has this really uh, soft feel to it it's absolutely incredible the coating love it so you know if you're a professional painter winter's coming up here and you know winter all we can do is interior painting here in Boise you're really limited on what you can do and now these decorative coatings um, just adding you know this to your arsenal um, your tool bag of coatings of things you can do to make money as a professional painter um, this stuff is um, a great option something that you really should be learning how to do uh, and so I highly encourage you to learn these coatings and start practicing on your own house um, practice on your neighbors on your friends start using using them so there you have it the project is all completed I don't think that took me you know that was about an hour and a half you know of work to do that uh, very simple easy to do it does take some practice the Boero metallic um, suede finish with the random brush look I absolutely love it the color itself I'm not sure if I said what color it was it is MS Pearl was the base 6220 was the color so I'm really happy with it I've got multiple videos uh, with these metallic coatings how to install them apply them go check them out if you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you got any questions or comments for this or any of my other metallic coatings leave them in the comment section below below check me out on Instagram and Facebook where I got all kinds of really cool tips and tricks and what the heck I'm just doing out there in the painting world on Instagram Idaho painter on Facebook the Idaho painter and like we always say we'll see you on our next video out